Well, the, the, the most important uh, thing that, uh, that I have changed today is, is the, the relationship between development and the process of globalization. The process of globalization changing the terms that we use to think about development. We have a new situation that is uh, changing very fastly and, uh, and we have to introduce this element to rethink development. Now, we have some normative uh, definition about it that has changed also with the contribution of uh, uh, people like Amartya Sen, Marta Nussbaum and others on capabilities and this has been a very important contribution. So what, what is very clear that we cannot identify development with growth and that uh, uh, we have several new elements that we have to, to, to rethink. Well, yes, there, there is a gap uh, because there is a big tendency that is uh, spread over the world that is the tendency of inequality. Inequality is uh, a, a global trend. There are very few exceptions and uh, this uh, bec is becoming the, the most important question. How it will be development in the future with this trend of inequality and how it's possible to change this situation. Well, uh, it's very much linked to the first two questions that you made, that uh, we, we have to know the, how development it will be linked to a cosmopolitan world. I'm using the concept of Ulrich Beck, uh, in which uh, social science till now and theory of development has been linked to uh, a national departure to think international links. Today, there are most of the problem, majority of the problem, that start to be global. So we have to change the nationalistic approach to a cosmopolitan approach.